Why use free switch? What are the reasons to choose free switch? In this chapter, the idea is to, to show you why you have to choose free switch, why free switch is important, and what are the reasons to choose free switch. Not because of the hypes or someone else have told you, ah, free switch is better or worse than anything. Uh, for now, we are going to use FS instead of free switch for the whole training, just to, to simplify and reduce a bit the size. So when I when I call FS, is the same as free switch. Okay. So let's go next. Differentials for free switch: performance, stability, multi-domain, developer friendly, and leadership in WebRTC. Uh, I think the first thing for for free switch is the performance. Uh, we have reports from the field saying, hey, it's four times faster than asterisk. It's two times faster than asterisk. There is a paper a study from HRCAK. It's a, it's a research institute in Croatia. And the paper is the source of the paper is here. You can download and, and check. Uh, free switch can support two times more simultaneous calls compared to other platforms. So in a comparison with Asterisk and Yate, with independent published results, it has almost twice the number of concurrent calls. So for ITSPs, Internet Telephony Service Providers, and for people using uh, high volume uh, calls, Free Switch makes a lot of sense. It can support a lot more concurrent calls in the same hardware compared to the other open source projects. So I think this reason is enough to, to make you choose for a switch for many, many applications, mainly on ITSPs and call centers where performance and the number of concurrent calls is key to get a good solution. It reduces the, the amount of hardware that you need to, to have. It reduces the amount of energy spent on the system. Multi-domain. This is the reason I have I have used first switch for our PBX project. It's because it's natively multi-domain. You don't need to, to create any workaround. You can use user at domain, and first switch supports multi-domain by design. So the Sophia stack, the SIP stack is multi-domain. So it's much easier to create a multi-tenant PBX using free switch than the other platforms. So this is also very important for, for free switch. Stability, free switch was built in a known blocking core. All calls have control of its own resources, avoiding deadlocks. This is also very important. It's very stable, mainly when you have high volume. So in high volume, it's, it's rare to have a, a crash or something like this. Uh, the stability of free switch is, is very nice. Developer friendly. Uh, free switch is very friendly yeah, for developers. It supports C, C++, Net, JavaScript, Python, and Lua. Uh, there's a highly developed event system that generates events for everything. Support message queues such as RabbitMQ and has extensive database support, ODBC. SQLite, Postgres, MongoDB. You can use your applications using many of these databases. It's very open to the to the developer. It's really a good choice if you want to develop new things. Multi operating systems: Linux, FreeBSD, and Windows. It's an advantage, but I actually I have never used uh, Free Switch on any other platform than than Linux. It also supports macOS. That it's not on the slide. Flexibility. It uses a wide use of regular expressions and route based on any call variable. So it can route based on the caller ID, based on Kali ID and the number dialed, any variable that you have on a call, any header that you have on your SIP, on your session initiation protocol uh, parameters. So it's very flexible in terms of routing. It's very flexible on what you can do on the system. Leadership in WebRTC. Uh, WebRTC is the new telephony. It's the telephony inside the browser integrated with your application. It's something that is growing very fast. And FreeSwitch is a leader on WebRTC. It supports everything you need on WebRTC. There's lots of protocols on WebRTC, such as DTLS, SRTP. Uh, there are many things that you need to support to support WebRTC in the platform, and FreeSwitch supports all of them. It supports SIP using JS, SIP, SIP.js, or SIPML5 if you want to use SIP 
as a signaling protocol for WebRTC. And FreeSwitch supports also Virtu. Virtu is their own protocol for, for FreeSwitch. It's easier to use when you want to implement presence and many other API, many other things. It, it's integrated directly in the API. It's easier for developers to develop WebRTC applications. Where to use FreeSwitch? The most common application is obviously PBXs. Uh, there are many companies building PBXs based on FreeSwitch. Session border controllers. Session border controller is a key application for FreeSwitch, converting from IPv6 to IPv4, converting codec, uh, doing, creating the security, and voice application servers. You can integrate FreeSwitch with Watson. You can integrate FreeSwitch with many different applications. Session protocols. It supports SIP, Skinny, the Cisco protocol, Virtu, A323, IX2, Jingo, and TDM. There's the open TDM. You can use cards, E1 or analog cards on FreeSwitch 2. Codec support. There's a long list, all the traditionals, PCMU, PCMA, G729, and Opus. I think this four covers most of the needs. I wouldn't use a codec different than this first four, but there's a lot, lot of other codecs that can be important in terms of interoperability. PBXs are by far the most common application, and there's a good distro called Fusion with an open source interface. So if you are used to free PBX, so to have something like with a web interface, everything ready, uh, Fusion is, is something similar. The Fusion PBX is based on FreeSwitch, and you can build your own PBX using Fusion. Session border controllers, many SBCs are based on the FreeSwitch engine, such as the one from Sangoma. At Zippos, we also use FreeSwitch as the engine for our session border controllers. At least the backend part, the, the front end is, is, is based on a proxy. A little, a little different, we use a structure that has front end and back end. It's uh, there. Actually, session border controllers, uh, the definition is so wide that it's hard to define what exactly is a session border controller. For remote applications, I believe the proxies are the best, the best architecture. For the connection to other, other providers, back-to-back -back user agent definitely is, is better. So you can use for switch and proxies and, and the same machine to get both. What prevents people from using FreeSwitch? If FreeSwitch is so good, why it's not on every PBX? Why it has not dominated the market? The first is the learning curve. Free switch is based on XML and regular expressions, and many people uh, have a hard time understanding XML and regular expression. That's why I have created uh, tutorials for XML and regular expressions separated. So before we start with the dial plan, we need to check the. We should check XML and regular expressions, depending if you understand or not these concepts. And adoptions is still below asterisk and free PBX. Free PBX and asterisk has close to one to one, but they have a lot. Uh, the adoption, actually, Asris came first and started in 1999. But after 2003, 2004, it starts to grow very quickly. The peak was in 2007, 2006, 2007, and then they have a steady, steady growth since then. Free switch is newer, so it does not have all these adopt, uh, all these people adopting. So that's that's why it's still there's probably five five asterisk servers for each uh, free switch server on the open on the internet. You can use Shodan if you want to to compare the number of open servers on the internet with free switch and asterisk. It's an, an interesting comparison. But free switch is growing growing quickly. is a rock solid project, and we really trust that free switch will be. Uh, bigger and bigger in the future. Maybe yeah, it's hard to say if it will surpass asterisk, but uh, it definitely has its niche on ITSPs. If you want to run large volume, a large volume of calls, uh, free switch is definitely a good option. In summary, in this chapter, you have learned that free switch can support more than twice the number of concurrent calls compared to other back-to-back -back user agent systems. It's developer friendly, friendly. It's Mochi OS supporting Windows. It's extremely flex flexible by the use of regular expressions and variables. It's used to build IP PBXs, SBCs, and voice application servers. And it's very handy if you plan to support WebRTC. Thank you.